I am so excited about tonight. Where are my Mexicans in the house tonight? Where are they? Wow, oh cool, I have a ride home. So I know some of you are looking at my hair and looking at my outfit, thinking to yourself, great. Another one of those fucking Mormons. I get that a lot. How do you like my hair, by the way? Thank you, thank you. I saw that movie, Something About Mary, now I'm hooked. So, I am Mexican, I am openly Mexican. And you know, people give Mexico a hard time because it's such a dirty, unkept country. I'm like, well, y'all, the cleaning ladies are over here. <laughs> Illegal immigration, too, is a big issue for Texas. You know, there's some lawmakers that feel there should be an isolated area to keep all the Mexicans. I'm like, well, we already have that. It's called Garland, Texas. Check that off the list. We're good. We're good. You know, I was on analdiscipline.com the other day, and I was thinking to myself, I love Mexicans. I do. And then I thought, you know, I think God loves Mexicans. Right? I mean, he must. He makes so damn many of them. I got more Mexican jokes. They're just on layaway. Get them out next week when I get my church. How do I like my outfit, by the way? Thank you, thank you. I was supposed to wear this to my sister's wedding this past weekend, but I got there late and I missed the entire ceremony. I know, my sister was pissed. She was like, I can't believe you missed my wedding. I was like, Yako, don't worry, I'll go to the next one. It's not like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity after all. And there are a lot of hot bitches in the house tonight. Ooh, and the girls are pretty too, I guess. have this look of concern the entire show the entire are you are you having a good time sir well you might want to tell your face you have you have that kind of look that puerto ricans get when somebody calls them a mexican you like are you i mean do we know each other from somewhere is that why you feel you can just come over here no? do we used to date or something do i look familiar to you I'm just Because you know, you know, it's all six degrees of penetration. You never know. I'm just wondering. Now, what is your name, sir? Patrick. Patrick. Ah, the luck of the Irish. So glad you came here from Dublin to enjoy our show here tonight. I'm just fucking with you. I'll see you at home, Patrick. You know, they say laughter is the best medicine. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. I, I, I think so too, but like, like I went to the doctor last week for my annual checkup and I, I don't know, I don't trust doctors like I used to because you see all the mistakes they make online and stuff. This doctor at my checkup, he says, Jade, you have to stop masturbating. I said, what? I said, why? He goes, so I can finish examining you. like whatever but there I was on all fours the doctor putting his finger where Jesus told him not to and he goes excuse me Mr. Estrada I said yes he goes I feel something kind of funny back there I said well I am a comedian I'm just kidding, it was a homeless person. You know, but the nice thing about dating homeless people is that when you're done with them, you can just drop them off anywhere. But I am single. I'm trying to get myself out there. I recently got into S&M. Well, it's Mexican S&M. Instead of whips and change, he says, hit me with the chancla. So now when I go to Walmart and I hear the cholas walking behind me, I kind of like flinch just learned behavior at this point. But I dated all kinds of guys, all kinds of guys. I dated an Irish guy once, Patrick. I did. His dick was magically delicious. He taught me that the ass is always greener on the other side. Before that, I dated a Chinese guy. I know, I always get that fucking response from you ladies. Like, ooh, Chinese dick. Crouching tiger, hidden cock. 
You guys got it wrong, you guys. You guys got it totally wrong, because Chinese dick is awesome. Because, like, you suck it, and, like, 30 minutes later, you want some more. Ancient Chinese. But he was kinky, but like at the wrong times. Like he'd wake me up in the middle of the night. I want number 69. I want number 69. And I'd be like, why would you want beef and broccoli at 3 o'clock? It's not good for you, I told him. We don't do that in America. Dated a French guy before that. Uh, anybody try a French guy before? Ah, oh, they're so passionate. So, ooh la la, everything is like, oh, ooh la la. I knew I had to surrender to him before he surrendered to the Germans. No history majors over here, all right. Not the right crowd, got other stuff. Yeah. So but my, my French boyfriend was very sexy. You know why, Patrick? Because he was a mime. He was very, very sexy. He used to jack me off like this. That was that joke. You're not like fucking shouting out for your people? You're my closest white dude that I have a connection with tonight so far. I just want to say, you guys have a very strange way of dating. Very, very strange way of dating. Different from us Mexican people. Like, I, I, I dated a white guy before. He took me out to dinner. I was like, just so you know, this is not really necessary. <laughs> he took me back to his apartment. He fucks me. The next morning I wake up with good credit. How does that work? <laughs> but you won't last with a white dude. No, no, Richard will be like, get the fuck out of here. Go back to San Antonio. Go get a Mexican boyfriend. And you know what? I did. I did, I went and got a Mexican boyfriend, Patrick, and he stole my heart. <laughs> and then he stole my TV set. <laughs> the one that got away. <laughs> I met him at school, well, I introduced myself to him because my professor said I had to do an essay. <laughs> to my mom and my mom was like, I don't like him. I don't think he's a very nice person. I said, mom, how can someone who's doing 500 hours of community service not be a nice person? So negative. And of course I had to try it. I heard so much about it. I dated a black guy. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Cause you know what they say, once you go black, you're always gonna have the cops at your house, exactly. <laughs> I'm not racist, you guys. I'm just exercising my religious freedom. So, <laughs> would you like to hear the song that got me thrown out of my own family Christmas gathering? Yeah! Dude, I'm a comedian. You give me something tattered and torn and old like that, I'm put a little glitter on it, put a little makeup, not too much, because I use MAC makeup and that shit's expensive. But the scene was like this. There's a beautiful Christmas tree behind me. Everybody's eating their tamales. And their chalupas and their chiclets. <laughs> My dear Sylvia says, okay, Jade, your turn. No fucking around. So my song, <clears throat> Dallas, went something like this. I'm a hoe for Christmas. <laughs> you can sleep with me. Some guy named Joe And maybe his friend Larry Imagine snowflakes fall all around me Oh wait, I'm in Dallas, I mean cocaine Oh wait, you broke motherfuckers, I mean meth Someone gay may find me or some straight guy from Craigslist. Oh, I'm a hoe for Christmas. As long as we don't 
don't care.